Sugarbuggers, welcome back to the channel for another mod review. And this time, you guys, it is going to be on functional camping RVs. Yay! This was created by Brazen Lotus, I think is how you pronounce it, their, uh, their name here. And I'm really excited for these because, as you guys know, with StrangerVille, we were um, kind of teased a little bit with a trailer park. And a lot of us, myself included, thought, yay, finally, we're going to be able to live in trailer homes. And unfortunately, that was not the case. And in fact, I know that I was specifically saying, I think it might have been in the overview, how I really just wanted, I just wanted the, the, the objects themselves to be functional. Like, even if we could just go in there and, you know, just like camp or sleep or whatever, just be able to use them. I think that would have been really cool. So I think it's amazing that uh, Brazen Lotus actually created these objects from StrangerVille to be functional. And so here's a little more information about it. It requires Game Pack 1 and Game Pack 7 um, to work. So you're going to need Outdoor Retreat and you're going to need StrangerVille to be able to use these in game. These are new objects to keep the file size small. They rely on in-game objects for its textures objects these are new objects not to be confused with the trailers i liberated with the rest of strangerville world objects they are there are three variations of the trailer from strangerville there's a camping rv with two different colors and then the streamline camping rv um it says a patreon requested these and i obliged these are literally um these literally function just like the tent from game pack one outdoor retreat and you'll need both of those packs for these to work properly um, um, a little more information. I didn't get a chance to play around with these, so let me know if you have any issues. Sims will crouch down a bit getting into these as if they were in a tent because they are just, again, liberated objects. I didn't spend too much time on them, and I just changed out a couple of the tunings. I may create a version with better animations in the future. So here's like a little, a little, uh, a little sneak peek of what these will look like in game. I do have a couple ideas for these, and if you can put these in your inventory, I think this is going to make them that much more amazing so i guess the only thing left to do is put these in my game and i will see you all there all right you guys so here we are with mr and mrs newbie i literally love these sims so freaking much i hope that one day i can actually play with them and this is my rendition of bob and betty newbie if you haven't heard me say it a thousand times well here is a thousand more you can get them from the gallery at gen 606 and they are cc freaking free so what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and plop down our little rv objects and this is the little trailer park that we are obviously gonna set them up in now when i first got this game i thought for sure um for sure for sure for sure like this was definitely uh, like a livable object or something um it just seems like that would be the thing but it's not and it really sucks because it does appear like you could actually live in these but you can if you wanted to um you can come over here and like sit in the chairs and stuff so I mean I guess that's kind of cool anyways to find these bad boys I feel like I had to turn on um, debug mode for some reason because originally when I went through custom content uh, I didn't see them but oh nope they're there okay so I take that back however these are pretty expensive so they're about 15 hundred simoleons 1500 for the uh, original RV this one here and there is also uh, this swatch, as you guys can see. And then we have this one that goes right there. Hold on, let me click it really fast. And again, they are quite expensive, but if you wanted your Sims to live in them, by all means, you totally could. So I think the one that we're going to go for is maybe this RV. I like this one the most. So I'm going to sell these guys. And I'm wondering where exactly they get in at because what my thought is is like, okay, so it's kind of like camping essentially, right? Like if you needed to go in there or whatever, um, you totally could. But then maybe you could also go and make this little plot right in front of your RV. That is like my thought behind it. Maybe even put it on like a platform or something. I might actually do a little speed build with this at the end of the video if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, I have some ideas. Totally. Yeah, like I really do. Okay, there's there's a few things that can be done here. But let's just go and check out the animation uh, first and foremost. So you can, you can put it in your inventory. Oh my god, you could go camping. <gasps> what? That would be so 
freaking cool. So think about it. Think about it if you were to actually, you know, we're going. We're not going to think about things here, people. We are going to do it. So um, real quick, let's go and have Bob and Betty woohoo a little bit in their uh, fancy dancy new trailer. So um, I'm just going to go and see what this looks like really quick. Remember, this is um, copped from the uh, – from the tent from game pack one so okay she's crawling in through the bottom of the door but at least they get in where the door is at so thus making what i'm thinking of doing a bigger possibility than i originally imagined so they're in there having a jolly old good time it would be cool if you could like add extra things like being able to cook dinner things like that like just get your needs in um i don't know i think you could do a lot of different things with this so they definitely woohooed everything was fine they came out a little weird but that's okay too so let's actually put this in betty's inventory oh my god and there it is you guys so how amazing would it be to see what this looks looks like in Granite Falls. I think we should actually have Bob and Betty go on a quick little vacation uh, to Granite Falls just to see what this looks like down there. Okay, so here we are. Now, I'm a little bit nervous as to where we could put this bad boy down. Bob is over here. He's on freaking fire duty, but clearly sucks because he's lighting himself on fire rather than the log. So I'm going to try to get it so we can uh, put this bad boy over here maybe let's go over there um i think actually now that i think about it i can just literally drag and drop this thing i don't even need to make it all that complicated so if i wanted to oh you guys i'm seriously so excited oh this is amazing i know it's so stupid and it's literally like another option um to just having a tent but you cannot tell me for even a split freaking second that this doesn't look boss. Like you could literally go to any freaking lot and plop this down and basically look like you live there. This is incredible. You can make an RV park. You can do so many things with this. And sometimes just adding in an object like this literally does freaking everything. You can sleep. You can nap. You can relax. Um, again, I do have some speed build theories. So what I might do very quickly after this. This is kind of interesting what's happening over here um, I might do a little speed build involving this thing and then possibly seeing if it actually works so you can even plan outfits if you wanted to you can relax and nap and read and basically like I said it functions as a casual tent but I just kind of wanted to see what it would look like in Granite Falls and if it was possible I love it I love it I love it I love it and I really do hope that Bra Brazen Lotus does decide to add more animations and maybe even interactions if that's a possibility in the future like to be able to cook and be able to eat out of it Whew, golden all right so what I'm gonna do is I am going to hop back um, to Izzy Trailer Park, and I'm gonna try to incorporate this into a Strangerville inspired build and see if it's still functioning after I do so. Okay, so I just slapped something together super duper duper quick. I literally didn't put too much effort into it. Originally, I was gonna do a speed build, but I'm like, no, that's a little too extra because I'm just literally showcasing an item that we technically already freaking have. It's just in a different form. So I am happy to report you guys as long as you leave the doorway clear of any objects or anything like that um your sims will be able to go in and out with ease so as you guys can see i added in the awnings i also added in like a little front patch here I even have um some of these end tables that kind of look like a foundation which aren't really all that necessary but um i did have like stairs here with using shelves and it looked cool it just didn't it didn't function like you weren't, weren't able to get in so yeah i'm definitely happy with this item I know it just seems so minuscule and somebody's gonna be clowning on me because I get excited over the dumbest things whatever but for me like you know it's imagination imagination's key and if I have the freaking the puppets or the tools to create my own story well then obviously I'm gonna be excited about it and so something also I just oh, wait hold on wait whoa, 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 whoa. something I just also noticed you guys <gasps> am I seeing things is this wishful thinking but at night Oh my god, at night the lights turn on in the inside of the freaking trailer. So if you were able to like use the bathroom, if you were able to eat actually in here, it would be literally like living in a freaking trailer. And what's even more exciting is that you can take it places with you. You can set up different campsites throughout your world. You can... um 
also set up different like camps if you wanted to in uh, El Salvador if you have that pack or even um, you know obviously Granite Falls and whatnot so yay I'm excited I love it if you guys want to go ahead and download it it is free um, and the link will be in the description down below so if there's anything else that you can think of that you would like Raising Lotus to add to the RV also feel free to let me know and with that said you guys I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here I hope Hope that you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead and comment rate, and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys